All right, let's talk more about today's sentencing and what life might be might be like for Potter in prison. Let's bring in Sunny Slaughter, law enforcement and litigation expert. Thank you so much for joining us. So what outcome are you expecting at this sentencing? Um, good morning and thank you for having me. I'm looking at her sentence to be somewhere around seven years. Um, it's appropriate for the aggravating situation regarding the death of an individual, Mr. Uh, Dante Bryce. And I think it will also play heavily into the victim impact statement on what the judge ultimately decides about the length and time of sentencing that is appropriate for this um, uh, incident. Mm -hmm. And this is a really high profile case, obviously. From your experience, how are former police officers like Potter usually treated when they, they go to prison, if she goes to prison? Well, if she goes to prison today, and I'm thinking that she will go to prison today, she is likely to be um, placed in solitary confinement. It is very dangerous for individuals and particularly law enforcement professionals and former law enforcement professionals to engage with inmates in um, whether it's state facilities, federal correction facilities, because the level of risk to their um, safety is, is really weighted. So the Department of Corrections will um, do what they've always done, make um, general accommodations in potentially solitary confinement for a long period of time. Unfortunately, solitary confinement also comes with being locked down for the largest portion of the day, usually 23 hours at, um, during the day. Uh, there won't be any special, special accommodations, but she is a former member of law enforcement and she is working um, or she will be confined and under the direction of correction officers who might um, ensure, um, you know, extra precautions for her safety and keeping her away from others. But being locked down in prison is, is just that. But unfortunately, law enforcement, the risk is often greater for their safety. So the number that uh, you mentioned earlier and our correspondent Jamal um, mentioned earlier as well it was seven years but like many convicted criminals people who go to prison don't always serve the full term of their sentence. So what factors are we looking at that will determine how long Potter actually spends behind bars? Well um, as your uh, colleague stated earlier, earlier and as the defense stated whether she is um, someone who has the potential to commit this crime again and it is unlikely because she won't serve as a, um, a member of law enforcement. Also, whether she has family support and whether she is compliant in, well, during her incarceration, you know, whether she follows the rules, uh, doesn't get in any to any infractions or anything, those all come into play. And more importantly, what services and systems that she will have available to her once released from um, prison. And more than likely, I have not seen anything to indicate that she doesn't have a family to go back to, that she won't be supported by the community, and um, that that will also play into her ability to have probation and to serve out her time. But let's not, but let's be clear about one thing. She is no longer Officer Kim Potter. She is a convicted felon mm -hmm. for murder. Whether you go manslaughter or intentional or not, she is a convicted, convicted member of our society and her life will not be the same. But unfortunately, Dante Rice is no longer here at all either. These are unfortunate circumstances, but as a trained individual, um, she has consequences that must be addressed. And these are the consequences, not of her character, but of her actions. Sunny Slaughter, law enforcement and litigation expert, thanks for joining us this morning. Again, we're monitoring that decision and we'll bring that update to you when it comes in.